G'day everyone, Aaron from Beastock. Just an update with the Belvedere. This is a 1966 model, I think it is. Uh, it's got a 440 big block in it, and we've twin turboed it, just for a bit of street entertainment. Uh, we've been playing with the cooling system of late. So the radiator's been recored. We've got an upgraded core fitted. I kept the original tank just for a bit of prosperity. Let's see in there, we see some nice new cores all fitted up. Uh, guys at Nambour Radiator Works did that for me. Fabulous job as always from them. Uh, now I've gutted a um, late model Falcon FG fan. Uh, these things have a really nice controller built into them, into the wiring. So I'm going to try and make that fit. I've taken out the two 12 inch Davies Craig fans. They weren't moving quite enough air for me. Uh, so here's the new conundrum that this has created. So we've got a bit of a challenge here with space. And we can see down the bottom here, this little black pipe down here I'm pointing at, is the boost return pipe, which needs to snake up and around here and into the throttle body. And it used to look like that. <clears throat> so the nitrous solenoids plug in here. Uh, we've got air temp sensor and all that other stuff plugged in. But with the motor here now, that doesn't work. So, <laughs> make more bits. The uh, oil filter needs to go bye byes So I'll make a uh, oil relocation kit for that. Um, put that sideways. Hopefully we can get a pipe to snake up around here beside the radiator hose and around this way and up and into the throttle body. It's all fun and games. It's kind of interesting considering how big this thing is and how much space I now don't have. Uh, so I've still got some wiring to, to tidy up and finish up. Everything's all plugged in. Uh, so the motor's all back together. We kept the 440 crank. Uh, we went forge rods and pistons. Uh, went to some really nice trick flow alloy heads. And while we wanted to upgrade to potentially a hemisphere head from the Hemis, uh, we already had the intake and the exhaust made so we decided to keep what we already had. Uh, so that's all remained the same, it all looks the same. Uh, inside's obviously all new and trick flow stuff's pretty decent. Can't wait to fire it up, but first I've got to get on top of this problem. <laughs> it's a little challenging. So those who are asking, this is my little turbo mounting jig. Uh, it's just a little homemade thing, just out of a bit of, bit of box. Bit of airline hose on the side so I don't scratch things. It's fully adjustable. And you can see here on here I've got a bunch of different rig type ideas that I can bolt to or screw to turbos. It's what I use to actually mount these guys on a hang them uh, until I set the position. You can see on the bottom here I've got a different bolt on option so I'm just using that to hang my fan uh, just so I can locate it and sit it exactly where I want and I can take my measurements and I'll make a shroud then to uh, make that all work. So it's all looking good, it's all coming together. Not too far off now before we um, have another go on the dyno and See if we can make some noise. Got to drop this pipe back in. Uh, there's a few little things underneath I've got to do. Uh, but yeah, she's coming together quite nicely. Uh, inside the car hasn't changed yet. I'm still dragging my feet. I've had a bit too much on. Uh, we still have all the original dash in it. Uh, which ironically, none of it works. N none of this cluster works. And the customer has uh, bought one of these bad boys for me to fit. So I've got to graft that into that. Uh, I'd like to keep the original styling, if I can, even though it's a bit of retro tech. Uh, that got rid of the old radio that had holes and munt munted bits there. And I um, made this out of the old volt gauge. Uh, no, amp gauge, sorry. Uh, these were in the car, as was this, so they remain. So I need to do something with this. All these buttons will go away. It never. This car was actually never fitted with a heater, even though it's got uh, all the buttons. They actually go nowhere and it's connected to nothing. So pretty keen to remake that and do something with it so it looks like it belongs here. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. I still haven't got it out. These have been a little problematic. I'm being very careful not to break any of this stuff because this stuff is 1966 plastic. It will crack quite easily if I'm a little bit too uh, heavy handed with it. But we're kicking along so hopefully soon uh, the view from here will increase and we'll have some interesting V8 turbo noises. I'll keep you tuned. See yous.